Hey, today we're going to be making a potato stuffed meatloaf. I don't know where I got this recipe, but my family loves it. So, hope you enjoy it too. Here we go. Okay, here we go. What you need is one to two pounds of hamburger meat. But for this recipe, I'm going to be doubling it because, like I said, my family loves it. And they, it's gone. So... On the, on the recipe, it doesn't call for seasoning salt, but I love seasoning salt, so I usually add it to my meat. Just sprinkle it on, on both sides. Now I'm gonna be using one cup of oatmeal, like I said the regular recipe calls for a half a cup, two eggs, and I like to add a little bit of sauce, it's called John Boy Billy's Grilling Sauce, love it, if you can't get it, if you don't have it where you're at, you can go on their webpage and order it, I just pour it in there, just a little something different. I like to add some cheese to the mixture. What you want to do, now you just want to get in there and mix it all up. You can add onions and peppers, but my family doesn't like onions and peppers, so I choose to leave them out. Just get in there, get dirty with it. Mix it all together. Once I get that done, I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything mixed together. One big old giant clump. You want to line your counter, tabletop, whatever. Line it out. You know, you put your meat on it. You want to smash it all out. Now I went ahead and cooked me some instant potatoes. I don't think I didn't think I would need to show show you how to do that. You don't have to use instant. You can use, you know, if you want to go the whole whole route of making your own mashed potatoes, go for it. But once you get it nice and flattened out, you can add your potatoes right down the center of it. Just like that. Smooth it out just a little bit. Here comes the fun, tricky part. Then you want to take the edges and fold it over with trying not to break it. If you line your counter with black paper, it does a lot better. I just didn't have any. Seal these edges. It's okay if you leave a hole because when you put it in your pan, this side right here is going to be on the bottom so nothing can come out. together the seams and everything and let me get my my cooking wear and I'll be right back okay I've got my cookware here my little bowl you want to grease it up nice and neat good that way it won't stick okay 
here's the fun part. It's easy if you have somebody who can help you lift it because it's you know, four pounds here. So what I do, I turn my sides down. Pick it up. Flop it in there. And there you go. Now you want to bake this on 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. After your 35 minutes is up, you want to take it out of the oven and you want to drain all the liquids that are in here. And then you're going to pour your V8. I use a spicy V8. Like I said, I like spicy stuff. It's not too bad for the kids. They've never complained. And then you want to top it off with ketchup. Put it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. And after that, you're good to go. So, I hope you like it. Let me know. Like the page, the video, and, and enjoy. Thank you very much.